Sandra writes in to ask, why are my gums tender? She writes, hello David, I've just completed your survey. I have, I've never used a water pick or anything like the Hydrofloss Oral Irrigator. I've recently scored a five on three teeth. I've never had bleeding of my gums. Regardless, a, periodontal rec a periodontist recommended that I should come in for a scaling. I am 67 years old, and yes, I have some receding of my gums only around my four bottom teeth. I do not plan on having the scaling done. However, I plan to continue to use the Hydrofloss Oral Irrigator for the next six months when I go for my cleaning. I have a question. Is it normal or common for my gums to feel a bit sore after using the Hydrofloss Oral Irrigator? I use the number one setting. I would appreciate your comments and thank you for your time and efforts regarding the answering of my question. And my answer is, no, it is not normal to have that feeling. In other words, it's not normal to have tenderness of your gums. This is most likely due and likely to be a sign of unhealthy gum tissue. The tissue shouldn't be sore. If it was healthy tissue, it wouldn't be sore. Let's put it that way. If you want to give yourself the best chance to get your gums healthy again, be sure to use four full reservoirs per day. Use two in the morning and two before you go to bed. On the number one setting, it is going to take a long time. However, you will likely find that after some time goes by, the gums will no longer be tender and you'll be able to adjust the uh, setting upwards above one. You do it slowly over time. Allow, uh, you know, if, you're, if your gums are tender, then turn it down to, the, to a lower setting. And as time goes by and your gums get healthier, you can turn that knob back up again. Or turn, eventually you'll get up to the number nine setting, which is the highest. You will likely find that after some time goes by, the gums will no longer be tender. Then you will be able to turn the dial up further, as I just mentioned. But don't go further until you are no longer tender. The loss of that tender feeling shows that the tissue is getting less inflamed and moving towards a healthy state. Eventually, you will get up to using the number 9 setting. Then you will be able to do those two reservoirs in the morning in under 5 minutes and the two in the evening in under 5 minutes. You want to see those pockets shrink to 3 millimeters or less. Generally speaking, most dentists are going to say that your gums are healthy when the po periodontal pockets are 3 millimeters or less. And the converse of that is also true. Most dentists, generally speaking, are going to say your gums are unhealthy when your periodontal pockets are above 4. So therefore, your goal is to get to 3 millimeters or less. And after that, your dentist or periodontist, uh, it's not very likely that they would still recommend a scaling and replaning treatment after that then you just need to maintain by continuing to do the four reservoirs per day. Does it work for everyone? No, but it works for most people that I've talked to and I don't see any special reason why it wouldn't work for you too. Always be under the care of your dental professional and in addition to being under the care, they can be the ones who measure those periodontal pockets for you and let you know if your gums are getting healthier or not. And if you have more questions, you can call me at the number at the top of the screen and there will be a and I want to thank Sandra again for calling in. It's, it's great to see people moving in the direction of uh, better dental health. And uh, there will be a link to this exact blog page underneath this video. Thank you for watching.